Now everyone has three dimensions. Yay! Chrono would have been a better choice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it does make me rage. At least Chrono started in a game Nintendo system. If I was on PS1, yeah, I know, this is what annoys me. That would be a good question of why there's no Isaac in me, though, but... Uh, considering everything that's going around, and the fact that Camelot made a bad game, like a bad Mario Tennis game, when usually they're better than that, like, it's really making me concerned for Nintendo's for future currently right now. Because a lot of the, their decisions that they're making right now, just, they're not the decisions that I know Nintendo to do. Like, I mean, I get why Cloud is such a surprise factor, and if, if Cloud is a part of, like, an NXT deal or something like that, I could kind of forgive it. But as of right now, it's just like, no, no. I don't want all the freaking, like, 8th graders that like, oh no, Cloud is in Smash, and all that, you know, get that, like, no! That's not something that, no, it, it needs to be, just, like, how even? Just, I'm so perplexed at the situation, like, that's the only way I can interpret it, is that we're getting some sort of NXT thing. <laughs> Talker aggressive, hello, hey Buffsy. Hey, Lost, why are you not responding to my Twitch follow? Oh, you, yeah, you followed me! Yay! Thank you, thank you so much. Very kindly. I really do appreciate that. She's kind of slow to read things. You know what? You know what? Leave me alone. And yes, I would love Bubsy to be in Smash Brothers. Because Bubsy was actually part of my childhood. No joke. I actually like the Bubsy games. What? I do. It's the truth. Yay, Buffering. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you people, like, when I was growing up, I didn't have a lot of Super Nintendo games, so I just had, like, Donkey Kong Country, Bubsy, and, like, the Mario games to play with, and Bubsy was one of those games that I really liked playing, and I wasn't good at it, but later on found out that was okay, because the games were actually really hard, and people didn't like them, but I liked them. I liked them a whole bunch. I actually got pretty far in the first Bubsy. The second Bubsy's ass, though, when it comes to, like, difficulty. Like, it's just, it's not worth it. it, it it's the very less subpar version of Bubsy. Which is, like, an odd thing to say, but it's, it's the truth. Okay. Let's see here. Else, Taka is it? Is what? Oh my goodness! So Bubsy 3D, Bubsy 3D. I actually came very, very close to, to beating. Um, I had like a 99% clear rate on that or something. Like I was really close to actually completing Bubsy 3D, and like getting like being the last boss, but he was just too hard, and I was I wasn't able to beat him. But that was the closest I ever got to beating a Bubsy, Bubsy game was in Bubsy 3D. And, in all honesty, Bubsy 3D was kind of my first 3D game, I want to say. I, like, it really was. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, I was kind of a dumb baby. Hey Loss, what's your favorite anime? Here's my top three. Number one, Cory in the House. Number two, Seinfeld Art Online. Number three, Attack on Fashion starring <laughs> Levine Jeans. No, it is not Family Guy. Oh my god. Like, you don't understand how scary that was. So, to hear the story on, on my movie saying it's Family Guy. Yeah, Seinfeld Online is pretty good. I would like to watch Seinfeld Online. That seems like it'd be very fun. I can see George Costanza just talking about it. Like, Jerry, you don't understand. We're trapped in the game. <laughs> I can totally see that. <laughs> oh my god. Kramer will be the guy that like just decides to go solo or something. Oh jeez. Sword Online is an incredibly decent anime. It's, it's not particularly good, it's just decent. It's it's weird. Not read be a vain. Let's go back and read that. Nari one? Yeah, this looks like an African inspired thing. Up in our beyond. Uh, it's really hot out. Uh, you really should relax a while. Alright. So let's go ahead and... 
There we go. What the? Okay. It's kind of like that. Oh, okay. Ooh, a door crown. What does that do? Okay, whatever. That That's good the way it is. Right, what are you people talking about? Well, I like family. You hate it, Lost? You want to go, bro? <laughs> we could go about it a little bit later, alright? <laughs> I got other things to worry about. I like the first half of Sword Art Online. Yeah, pretty much. I, um, like I said, they busted the second season. Yeah, true. True, true. If you like adventure, you should head out uh, west across the river. Oh, wait. With all the rain we've had lately, the river is probably too deep to cross. Oh, okay. Only California would get that rain, you know? No one can see the future. Absolutely no one. Except for our fortune teller. Just by looking at your items, uh, he can tell He can see the path you're uh, meant to follow. It's been dangerous out ever since the day uh, the gems fell from the sky. After that day, all local creatures suddenly grew more powerful and terrifying. Okay. Let's see here. What, what should I buy? Okay, there we go. Good, good, good. Oh, jeez. Why are you people <laughs> busy staring at it? I'm not trying to ignore it, chat. It's just I, I got to go through the manuals and the things and the whatnot. Um, oh, jeez. Let's see, but you gotta admit, uh, Mike and Molly uh, tail is pretty good. But my preference would be a big, a big Bing Ball Z starring Son Sheldon. That's pretty good. I do have to admit, uh, Sheldon makes for quite an interesting protagonist. The Kimbobo uh, went out on an expedition to the east, but they've already returned. Do you know what kind of expedition it was? Yes, they were still in things. What? They crossed over to Indra and attacked a town? The Kimbobo are, are reckless and dangerous people. On the far side of the river lies a huge mountain we call Magma Rock. It's a sacred place that the gods created long ago. Can you tell me uh, where uh, you have come from? Anaga, uh, that is a land uh, far to the north, is it not? That I've heard that it is hot here. It is cold in Anaga. The world is a strange place. That's true, it really is. Oh, oh, he heals people. Okay, I don't need, I don't need that. I don't need to be healed. You'll plan on going to Kimbabu, uh, do you, mister? I suppose. Well, you have to find a path through the Kimbabu uh, mountains to get there. The Kamado warriors uh, keep a close watch on the pass. They won't let you go through. Okay. The fortune teller lives on the, the highest house in Nibroa. Uh He's the closest thing we have to a mayor. Oh. Oh. Covered by nothing, I see. Yes, 80 coins. It's best job. We're a small village, but we all cooperate. And we can get almost everything done. Okay. When I climbed the Kimbabu uh, uh, mountains, I had to find a path that the Kimbabu did not know about. Oh, okay, calm down. Seriously. World 1 attack! There we go. One. Thank you. Weird. So I use reveal here. Mm hmm. Ooh, a unicorn ring! What does unicorn ring do? Let's see. Sorry, y'all. I just have to keep checking here because it's a new place and everything. Used to remove poison. Oh, so I can just keep that and remove poison. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my goodness. Want to know what my favorite animus are? Of course uh, not. Nobody wants to hear my opinions. I want to hear your opinions. I is it? Mm -mm. Is it sort of online? Naruto's is best sitcom. Well, you know, I can definitely see that. Catchphrase being Dante by you. Dante by you. Let's see here. When Oe was there, witch doctor, the Kimbobo uh, were much more peaceful. Uh, Kafubu took over when Oea passed on, and he was responsible for the warlike ways. You know, no he acts. Let's see here. My father is a fortune teller, not a witch doctor. There are a great many differences between him and Akafubu of Kimbobo. Well, he kind of looks like a witch doctor, and you know what the witch doctor just said? I'll tell you. Oh, if 
by painting our bodies, we bring about good luck. You should try it too. If you desire a reading, uh, stand before the table. Alright, fine. I have a teller of fortunes. Would you have a reading? It costs 20 coins to hear what your fortune holds. Very well. Show me one of your items. Um. This one right here. Yes, I'm prepared. I shall begin my reading. So what does this do? Oh my goodness. Jeez. They go a lot on this. I see. Beyond the item before me, I see a path for you to follow. I see you inside a sacred icon. By listening to the voices, you will earn a precious item. Um... Did not... It didn't really... Answer my questions. Like, um... Well, Shaman's Rod easily is gonna be a part of something. Yes. Come on. What does the Shaman Rod have to say about my future? see here. I see. Beyond the weapon you set uh, down lies a terrible foe. Many enemies await you, far beyond the mountains. If you move to strike them, you will meet with great disaster. I'm sure. Let's try this one more time. Mm. What though? I actually have nothing else to... Uh, no, never mind. I don't, I don't, I don't need any more fortune telling. Da -da 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 -da. But these are awesome anime puns. Yes, they are. I will totally admit they're awesome anime puns. Let's go back and read the puns. I have read the puns. Wait, Gem, Steven Universe. Lost, please go back. I'm trying to read the best animes. Hey, Taco, Lost thinks Luffy could beat Goku. I also agree with that statement. Because Luffy is awesome. No way. What is Piccolo's power? Stretchy arm. Could the son of Goku and, and Sailor Moon beat Sa uh, Superman? Um, so wait. Goku and and Sailor Moon hook up and they have a kid together? I guess if if they use their moon prism power. Uh, what is Boo's power? Stretchy arm. What is Luffy's power? Stretchy arm. Okay, Luffy has more than just stretchy arm, okay? You got to watch the anime before you start shrekking the anime. I psh, psh, psh. Have, have you ever heard of Gear 2? Mm-mm. Oh my goodness, what? Clash Drive fans and even uh, TOS fans. So just me, you, and Flippy. <laughs> yeah, uh, genius. Uh, Tales of Symphonia, uh, Town of Salem, I think. Oh my god. Because Taka sees me as an advertisement. Jeez. Oh my goodness. So Flippy, you're just Steins Gate, uh, two, your favorite anime, and three, Sailor Moon. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a ton of One Piece and got kind of bored. I mean, I can see that, but at the same time, like, One Piece is actually pretty well crafted in terms of story. It's weird, too, because, like, you wouldn't think so because of how long it is, but there's so much bloody world building to it. Luffy was a bit of an ass. Uh, eh. Luffy is pretty kind in general. Uh, how far did you get, Flippy? Because it really depends on, like, where you're at in One Piece to, like, really see how well it is. And I'm not talking about just, like, you have to watch more of it. Don't watch more if you don't want to watch more of it. But the way that I tell people to do is to start on uh, the Water 7 arc. That is easily the best arc to start on, because it just... It tells you everything that you need to be, be told. <laughs> Freaking... Why are Taka and Waka getting an argument in my chat? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> you don't know, Flippy? All right, Flippy, tell me this much. In One Piece, how many crew members do they have that you remember? Saw the first three or four episodes and then a few random ones. Yeah, you can't really do it that way. So watch the Water 7 arc and then come back to me. All right? Just watch the Water 7 arc. Just look up Water 7 arc and see what happens. Okay, there we go. So now I'm back to just randomly pressing the A button so I can could, I could pay attention to chat now. So, you happy? Just, I, I just had to get through some things. Death Hand. Death Head and Bone Fighter? That's what their name? Bone Fighter? Like, I'm gonna bone you? 
Man, I'll point you. The bad guys having blue skin and, and weird no uh, noses just feel strange. What, in One Piece? One Piece? <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see here. Just trying to find this stupid mountain area. Okay, there's Luffy, Sanji, I think. Uh, the, okay. Robin. Oh! No, I'm not telling you to, to list all the an all the One Piece cast members. I'm talking about when you were watching it, Flippy. What what cast did you have? I still can't get over this. That just it just looks too weird. Everyone looks so freaky. You get used to it. One Piece is just one of those animes that just is, just like, you have to get used to the art style, because it is unique. It's a unique art style. Like, that's One Piece for you. One Piece is just a unique art style. Um, unfortunately, uh, ever since the time skip, they kind of started drawing women uh, a little more uh, sexy, so there really isn't much difference between them, but, like, all the, all the dudes are most definitely, like, all the colors of the, the body spectrum, I swear. I can't get over it. It just looks weird. It's just something that you get used to. Oh, freaking! I found a Mercury Dingen! What the frack? I, I like how I just randomly find the Dingens. That is just awesome. It's like in the like the other, freaking the first Dragon Quest is like, oh, I have no idea where any of these people are. I certainly wish I could figure out where any of the Dingens were, or if I found a Dingen, I'd do like a big old puzzle to like solve it. Jeez, dude. Yay! Alright, good. <laughs> Let's play Golden Sun and chill. <laughs> you can make that joke now. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Oh, what are you doing today? Oh, just just playing, just playing Golden Sun and Chill. <laughs> I love that stupid, stupid, stupid um, a uh, meme. I wouldn't say I'm a meme lord, but dang it, am I not close to being a meme lord? Meme lord. Um, I apologize, chat and Quibi. Let's see here. What, what are you people? What, what are you people saying? Oh my goodness, Taka and Walker are still going at it, like, no tomorrow. You said Dragon Quest, this is Golden Sun. Thinks, uh, thinks every RPG is Dragon Quest. Every RPG should be Dragon Quest because it makes the game better! Wow! Don't you people understand? Just, 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 just need to play Dragon Quest. Because Dragon Quest is every RPG in one, and, and, and it's better. Because it's, it's, it's better. Yeah. Golden Sun and Chillin' Knuckles. <laughs> yeah, I gotta love that little team up. <laughs> and chill. No, like literally. Okay, you do know the the meme behind that, right, Waka? The Netflix and chill. Um, there's uh, some inappropriate things that certain people don't want to be doing. Um, pending. So, 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 yeah. Yes, Wibby? What, what about it? What, what do you want, want to say hey to me about? I still can't believe Teen Wolf is in this game. Okay. Let's see here. Where is this... this area? You know who developed Dragon Quest? Yeah, uh, Enix did. Enix developed Dragon Quest. And then later on turned to Square Enix, which develops... Wait, did Square Enix invent, like, develop Final Fantasy VII? Because I don't think they're... I think that was still Squaresoft, actually. And then uh, they emerged and uh, Square Enix's first actual Final Fantasy was Final Fantasy VIII, wasn't it? 
I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive on that. Prepare for this. Oh my goodness. Where are you people going at? Jeez. Talking to Walker are just, they're going at it. Here it was, just expecting to play Dragon Quest. <laughs> as soon as I catch myself, oh my god. Oh, not Dragon Quest, um, Golden Sun. Golden Sun, the lost Dragon Quest. I mean H, I mean Dragon Quest. It's pronounced Enix. It was a square sauce until Final Fantasy XI. Really? Wow, I... What? Because I could have sworn Square Enix joined at least... Like... I guess so. That is so weird to think about it that way. I am very shocked. That Square Enix was barely formed. I've always thought it was like a thing. Like ever since like the PS1 days, but I, I guess not. Wow. That is so weird, dude. So I'm just gonna go up here. Ugh. 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 8 out of 10. Taka said he was, he was better at, at Town of Salem. That was the argument. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm gonna have to go with, uh... Oh, what? Who is that? This area is clear. The strange one has not been seen. And there? We have not seen the stranger uh, near the village. Do you believe he was truly headed toward uh, Kubobo? The guards here were only recently knocked unconscious. Correct. We are under orders to maintain a strict watch over the mountain pass. No one uh, must be permitted into Kimbombo until uh, Akafubu uh, has completed his ceremony. Then we had better hurry to find the one who attacked our gods. Wow. Keep a good watch. Do not permit anyone to pass. If anyone interrupts Akafubo's uh, ceremony, he will hold you responsible. Yipe! Okay, just gotta... Just gotta... Keep moving it. I probably screwed that. Oh, dang it. There we go. There we go. Nice and proper. So I just gotta puzzle my way through this all. Oh, that's really cool. What a loser. What a dumb baby. Can't even figure out what I'm doing here. Whoa! MS Paint Gorilla, you beefed up! Whoa! And then there's Pixies. Why are there Pixies? What the heck? Okay, so just Earthquake. Um, Flare Store. And let's try for a good old Plasma, yeah? You know who published uh, Grady in Japan? It was Enix. Really? Uh, this uh, this was a car I got with the game before I got disgusted with the boredom and never touched it again. Oh my god, this game has Captain Morgan vs. Jack Daniels. Oh my goodness. I am very surprised that MS Pink Gorilla came into town. Seems like a uh, simple stealth mission type dealie. I kind of like it. I'll admit it's it's not quite what I was expecting, but hey, whatever. Just gotta go over here. Boom, baby. Things are not nearly as hard anymore. Boop, boop, boop. Let's go this way. So I get that little thing over there. Ah! 
I'm the intruder. Here, the intruder is here. Kim Bobo does not permit visitors. You just follow this road right back to where you came from. Guard, get him out of here. Wow. Wow. Talk about racism.